Hi, my name is Ryan Lane. Welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing uh, Nightmare Alley, directed by Guillermo del Toro, starring Bradley Coopy, Cooper, Rooney Mara, Kate Blanchett, uh, Ron Perlman, Willem Dafoe, and a whole lot of other actors. It's so... Anyway, Nightmare Alley tells the story of Stan Carlyle. He's a, uh, well, well, long story short, at the end of the day, he is a in mentalist, and the film details his rise and fall as such. And so the film starts off great with a scene that immediately intrigues you. You're, you, I was like, okay, I have questions. Who is he? What, what was that? And why did he do that? And the film answers all those questions in amazingly well. The film unwraps Carlisle's layers very well across the film, and Bradley Cooper just brings this character to life so well. The, the film sort of allows you to go into his process and how he develops his mentalist techniques, and, and it shows the importance of when he has to do more research on target and how sometimes it's intuition. I love it. That, that part, it's great. And also, I guess also another technical aspect, cinematography. The cinematography is great. It flows in between characters and with them. It really gives you a sense of place. And the, the chat, the lighting. Oh, good lord, the lighting. It's amazing. Like, the... Every time a character's face is lit, it's perfectly well. Like, it really just shows how they're feeling at that moment, how they're torn. Like, there's a pivotal movement, moment where Rooney Mara's character, let me see. R Rooney Mara's character, uh, Mary Cahill, she, there's a moment in the film where she has to sort of make a decision and the lighting just reflects that so well. And the production design. The production design is just amazing. It's brimming with that classic Guillermo del Toro. He really revels in the set design, whether you're at a carnival, excuse me, or at a, or in a 40s era bit off, uh, psychiatrist's office. It's really good. And I guess also I should mention some of the other cast, uh, like Kate Blanchett. She plays a uh, psychiatrist, Dr. Fritter, who uh, at one point in the film teams up with, with, with uh, Bradley Cooper's character, and they have great chemistry together. And it's in many of these scenes w between the two that stands uh, many layers as a, as a character begin to unfold over the film, and you begin to see what just sort of why he does this, why he does his mentalist techniques, and why he does as what some characters refer to in the film Spook Shows. It's, it's all really good. And also, the pacing. This film, it clocks in at about two and a half hours. The time barely went by. I mean, the only time you might notice, you know, the passage of time is perhaps the, uh, the very beginning of the film when Stan is, you know, learning the ropes and how to be a mentalist. But even then, that's, I, I was perfectly fine. I know it's the passage of time, but honestly, I didn't care. I was so intrigued by all the characters teaching him the uh, tr the trades and how to run a carnival and seeing Stan trying to become a mentalist himself to get what he wants. It's, it's all really good. And, yeah, and the sound design is really good. Like, you will, like, at one, they're, like, Stan, he has this thing about uh, alcohol and how he never drinks alcohol. And the sound design is really good with that. Like at one point, uh, well, this is a, well, I won't try to give it away, but I, there's a certain point where just picking up a glass has its own sound effect and it's beautiful. It really reflects the importance of the moment. Like you will notice it when you see it and it's, yeah, costume design is just really good. Uh, the uh, carnival characters, work really well. Yeah, and Brett, Bradley Cooper character, his costuming design really reflects his status from the beginning of the film to the middle to end. It, I mean, this is, it's just a, a beautiful film. I mean, it's Guillermo del Toro. What, what more can you expect from him? You know, it's, it's, I mean, again, it's, at the end of the day, this is a great movie. Um, so with that in mind, I will be rating uh, Nightmare Alley 4.5 out of 5 stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.